Greeting interwebs, it's Jackie K. Welcome for another game and chill. Apologies for not doing the live format like I usually do. It's just been so late into the year, or the month I should say, as it is. And I just don't want to procrastinate it anymore. And if I play a game while talking, I'm just more likely to get distracted. Maybe next month we'll play around with those pumpkins if they're still around. So for this month I'll probably just do the audio by itself, work on editing it, and the next game I play, whatever it is, I'll just record that while I'm just playing it casually, so we have some background gameplay still nevertheless for the video format. So the game plan of this month of focusing more on streaming to help build a backlog of other content is kind of working, maybe working a little too well in the fact that I already feel confident enough to make Let's Go Eevee a twice a week series instead of the original one hour or one episode a week that's about half an hour that it usually was. That said, I'm not sure if I'm completely ready to officially have a game plan schedule going into November, but man, I think the amount of content that I'm going to be uploading will more than make up for it. Also, give me a sec, I gotta check up on a raid. So, current game plan is Sunday is the podcast slot, Monday is either Go Battle League or podcast video slot. Tuesday, casual playthrough, aka Let's Go Eevee. Wednesday, stream night. Thursday, another casual playthrough slot. Friday, Go Battle League video night. Saturday, bonus video day. And also the night that I do the live stream recordings. And for clarification, the Wednesday slot is when I'll typically do a Pokemon Go stream. And Saturday would be typically when I do the recording for something like Let's Go Eevee. Though that can fluctuate depending on what's going on. For example, like when we eventually get that Flying Cup rescheduled, I'll probably not stream on Wednesday, but instead on Thursday. And on a similar notion, if there's just too much going on because it's the same night of a raid day I really want to do, I might reschedule the stream for Wednesday to either like a Tuesday or Monday. Bonus video day is what it sounds like. It's the day I upload something that's miscellaneous that doesn't normally fit on the schedule. Typically, if I have a more editing intensive project, like Celeste, complete and ready to go, I'll upload it on the first available Saturday slot. Otherwise, it could just be like miscellaneous things from streams, or a one-off video. This does seem like a lot of content to juggle, but it's... At least on my end, it's not so bad, because a lot of it's just like stream vods repurposed for a YouTube or even a podcast setting. And I do feel bad about not making original content, because there is like some charms of behind the scenes, like record on my own time and edit it, that I do miss. And I do want to eventually get to the point where I'm doing something like that consistently. Probably just gonna take another month or two to build up my backlog of the casual playthroughs and Pokemon Go stuff, and then we can explore that option. I do have plans for like Celeste as well once I actually finish up this second last B side, but you'll see that when that eventually goes up. As for how life has been. I don't really know how much I feel up to talking about it right now. I mean, it's October, November's next month, and everything's getting really political as a result of it. Like, things being awkward to talk about is not exactly what I need in the year 2020, but it is what it is. I'll just leave it for that for now, and maybe next time I do a gaming show, if I feel more talking about those aspects of life, I'll go into it then. Besides that, like... Pokemon Go wise, I feel like everything worth mentioning I've brought up on like the casual fireside chat already. Besides, I'm just like, I don't know what to call it stage fright or just short nerve memory. But now that I'm actually up on a mic without something in the background, I just can't even think about what, what to talk about. So I'm probably gonna keep this short. There's not really too much to talk about art-wise either. I don't recall doing any projects. A lot of my art focus lately has been doing like a sketch temper sort of thing. I wanted to do something for 
this month, so I saw I was bouncing between a few art prompts for the month, and I decided on Platonic Scribble Fest thing. So that's kind of what's been going on now. And I've been even editing anything in for now, because next month once it's all done, I'll just show screenshots or pictures of the full pages that, sh that include each of my sketches. I'm getting all done in one swoop. In the meantime, I have been posting s stuff on my general Twitter as I've been making it. Though I'll admit, i kind of been out of the drawing scene in general for a couple days. Mostly because, like, Community Day ate up way too much time yesterday, and today I've just been trying to play catch up with video work in general. Like, I didn't. I was gonna do more recordings, but it's almost 9 o'clock and they've only just gotten started on Game and Chill. Just between, like, editing the VOD for yesterday and setting up scheduling videos and stuff like that, kind of ate up a lot more of my day than I like. But it's fine, because I did actually get around to playing Celeste again Friday night, and it feels like it's been a couple months since I've done that. I really wanted to get to the end of this current B-side, like the second last B-side, because I have a game plan going forward. I'll probably mention it in the video, but you know what, what's the point? Of, I don't got too much else to talk about, I might as well bring it up here. I think I'm gonna like split it up between a live format, like a live stream format, and keeping up with the post-production once I finish up the B-side I'm currently on. How it's gonna work is I'm gonna do the last B-side, which I think is like chapter 7 B-side, whichever one the post game is, that's gonna be live streamed. And I think I'm gonna just do chapter 8 on my own, cause I don't know, I just, I've been trying to avoid as much on it as possible, but I do know that there's story tied to it. And I've kind of been hearing from secondhand about it being like an emotional moment for people who actually play it, so like, I don't know how I'm gonna end up reacting when I'm playing it, so I'd rather like, recorded on my own time, just in case I actually need to edit around some things. I just gotta finish up Celeste. As much as I love, don't mind the game going on forever, if only because of how slow I'm going at, because I like the game so much, I always like having something new to go back to. I'm just so worried. The, the DLC of all things has been out for over a year now. I'm just worried that the longer that it takes me to finish up this project, the more likely I'm gonna get spoiled. In fact, I, I'm kind of worried I accidentally stumbled upon a spoiler. Of all things, just trying to look up a reference image. I don't know if it's spoilers or not, so I'm not going to say what it is. In, one, in case it is, and two, because if I don't have confirmation if it's a spoiler or not, I might be able to trick myself into thinking that it's not a spoiler, or maybe I was just looking at something that was meant as a joke and it was never a spoiler to begin with. Like, I'd rather just have that vagueness of uncertainty rather than confirm my suspicions. Still, at worst it was only one thing, so... That's just... It's kind of putting a little bit more rush on completing Celeste, even though, like, I already have a big backlog because Celeste just takes a lot more time to edit. The freaking death montages in of themselves take more time to edit. But I kind of say that in some of the later videos, so I don't want to be too repetitive. Yeah, I guess an, I guess another thing is like this. I'm kind of been dreading this month. That's kind of another reason why I'm kind of feeling more awkward talking about things personally. Like I'm, I have to be careful how I word it without coming off too graphic. But it's my birthday, and normally that'd be a good thing. But like this is probably the birthday I've been dreading the most my entire life. Mostly just because of the milestone of my life that it is. Let's just say a long time ago, back when I was still working in retail, I made a promise to myself that I actually move out, be on my own, and feel successful in life by the time I turn 30. From the way I'm reacting, I think you can tell how's going on. Especially with this year. Me, even though I kind of wish I was earning more in my job so I could have a have a higher income to consistently pay off rent. Like, I have been saving enough that it's kind of getting to the point where maybe I can just move out even if my wage doesn't match my rent. At least for a little bit. 
And then COVID hit. And... I don't want even people to tell me it's fine to move, but all the social distancing regulations and all that just... kind of just made me give up on the whole moving out thing. And that, that alone kind of just killed a lot of my motivation in a lot of elements of life. To another, but at least like, I'm still pushing the whole online thing. I'm a little worried that like the pressure of like things outside the internet not working out well pushing me a little too far to try to make something successful in this online sphere. Even if it's like a part-time job, just like something that something that gives value to more than just satisfaction, and that's kind of why I was worried I was getting a little bit of stream burnout. Not helped by the past couple times I streamed. The the internet itself was a complete prick, and like I things like doing go battle league session and only having one battle or one set actually keep in the VOD without the lag just like eating up everything else. Or like the time before wasn't that much like trying to do the Meowth research day was a complete mess. But I think it's gonna be okay because like the Charmander community day went pretty well minus the fact that it was just me doing the stream, and I'm just- I just feel like I'm at a hurdle with the whole affiliate thing. And it wouldn't be so frustrating if it just seemed so reachable. Like, the only thing I need to do in order to qualify for an affiliate application at this point is keep a consistent average of three viewers per stream. That's only like two other people besides myself coming to every stream. So that doesn't seem like it would be hard, and yet, like, here I am couple months in and don't really feel like I'm anywhere close to that goal in the future. Like sure, I'm not gonna like be able to make Twitch a part-time job just because I reach affiliate, but it'll at least be possible and be like the first time that anything I've done creatively has had a monetary outlook. Something that make it... something that I could like show to family, friend, or peer and say I'm actually... I'm doing something that will help me financially with my life. Something that can help me compare to all the people who work double jobs and things like that. And is it, is it okay to think of things that way? I can understand if you're worried about me taking it too much in that financial direction, but... If I was doing it for the money, I would have stopped a long time ago. I just... It'd just be nice to... It'd be nice to allow me to push for better production in everything I do. If it if it could actually have the reward in it, be rewarding like a part-time job and not just feel like a part-time job they do for the sake of having a creative outlet. That's probably the best way to put it. I am doing it because I want to, but I do sometimes feel guilty for doing it when I could be doing something else like searching for jobs in a market that doesn't exist because of the pandemic, or... You get what I mean. And I think that example is enough in and of itself. I don't think I ever said I did get back into therapy. Um, it's kind of a mixed bag of how much it's been helping me, like sometimes it helps more than others, but it's... It's better than nothing. And I am still a new client with my therapist, and we've only been doing things through phone calls. Cause, like, I'm too worried about our internet to do things for FaceTime. And I'm definitely not going to an office at this time. Like, some people may feel that I'm just being overly cautious, like... Not going out anywhere to eat, not going... To an, being hesitant to go to an office, not going to not get not going to a barber for a haircut. People may feel like I'm just being too afraid, but that just sets me off because nothing I'm doing 
in relation to COVID is out of fear. It's out of concern. It's about concern about doing the right thing, doing the right thing and being considerate of others. That's at least the way I feel about it. So just <laughs> what was the point of that tangent? Just point is, I feel I feel I'm pretty constricted to actually make progress in my life outside of the web because of a combination of self-imposed restrictions and just res moral restrictions. Let's just call it what it is. And while I'm kind of dancing around it, without going into the politics too much, like I kind of just feel like I'm at a constant conflict between me and my local community about the morals of what is considered socially acceptable at a time like this. And when I just see people blindly ignoring it, it gets me frustrated. But that's enough on that. It is a little bit of a shame that the more I... kind of like just so many things I want... I've always had a mess of so many things I want to do and not have enough time to do them. I'm kind of worried I'm pushing the streaming too much and cutting away on time to actually do post-production things, but at the same time, it is letting me technically upload more to YouTube, even if a lot of it feels to me like a repeat of what I'm doing on stream. Uh, it should balance out eventually, but then there's like, when, where am I going to get time for art? And like, uh, is there any hope of me ever being able to make my dream game when I'm just... I wouldn't say pushing this, but working on this concept of my life so much because I can actually do it, and I actually have the confidence in being able to do it, even if it's not going to lead to anywhere outside of actually making the stuff. I'm mean, still, like, daydream about the concepts of the dream game. I'm just not sure how to implement it. Like. The simplest way to be like give up on making a game and actually make a comic or something, but like a little bit of the narrative just feels tied to something that can only be pulled off in an interactive media. So that is the biggest reason why I don't just like make a comic series besides the fact of just like it's I struggle to put enough time aside to draw as is. I do want to explore doing more conceptual things, like ranging from concept art to maybe like posting, like making up stat sheets and sharing them on social media and all that. I do want to. Overall, even if it's not leading towards progress towards the game itself, the more I think I'm getting to the point where the more I share about element of the Overseers, my fan game such, OC project and whatever, the more happier I'll be about it existing, just anything to get less of just an idea in my head and more something to share. Like I said before though, there are parts of just having the idea stuck in my head for literal centuries at this point. It has allowed me to flesh it out and not really feel like I'm just constantly rebooting it, because it hasn't really exist. Like, I mean technically Jack and Friends exist, but that's always... Even though, like, that was centuries ago, even back then it was like a parody of my OC world more than actually implementing it, but, like, it was the one way I could actually express anything related to it at the time, so I was content with it. And just, like, rambling about that doll, just like, eh, let me see how the video scene pans out, because I haven't been this close to actually uploading daily in a very long time, so I shouldn't like knock myself out too much. Sure, like the a lot more contents recycled from streaming, but the fact that, especially if I include streaming, it's the fact that I'm actually so close to actually doing something consistently every day and not be worried about burning me out. In fact, I actually feel confident that I can build up a backlog while uploading that this frequently. Makes me feel pretty good in of itself. 
But yeah, the big goal is to finally finish up Celeste, which includes completing the B-sides and finishing that Chapter 8 DLC content before the end of 2020. If nothing else comes out of 2020, if nothing else good comes out of 2020, I can at least say I've ex fully experienced my favorite game ever. Is that for exaggeration? I mean, not really, I mean... That does also remind me, I've been, like, re-exploring Pokemon XD between, like, doing the podcast of it and all that. Like, I do really, really want to play Pokemon XD, maybe even Coliseum again. I'm just, for, I'm just gonna leave that fit as a special surprise for people who actually take the time to listen to this game and chill. But I do plan on live-streaming one, if not both of those games. But it's probably gonna take a little bit, because I have a... Sp I have an idea of how to do it in a special way. I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. But... I'm just... I get excited just thinking about that, even though... Probably a long time as is. And alas, there's probably more I can talk about, but... If I wrap things up here, I might be able to squeeze a tiny bit of Celeste recording before the end of the night. It's like 9... It's approaching 9.20, and I want to get ready for bed, if not be in bed by 10 o'clock for work in the morning. So, I'll just wrap it up here. I, once I actually get felt up to rambling, it's probably about the same length of a normal game and chill. Anyways, so thank you all for tuning in. Again, probably go back to a more interactive with the background game next month, but I, I could tell that doing the game show for this month was already sneaking up on me, so I wanted to at least have commentary recorded in some shape or form, and it's just quicker to do it this way. Until we meet again, take care. <laughs>